Okay, so today we're going to show you how to change the rear upper shock mounts on an E36 M3. It's the same for all E36s though, so it doesn't matter. So if it's a 316, 318, 325, it's all the same. Pretty straightforward job. And we're going to take out these two 13mm. Okay. Jack the car up. I've jacked it up on the diff, but to be fair, it's probably not the best idea to do that. There's a perfectly good jacking stands. I'm just doing it for quickness this way, so best not the best way to do it though. To be fair. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to undo this bolt, it's a 19mm, scrap that, it's actually an 18mm, so if you want to just watch, we'll try and loosen that off. What I've done is I've loosened it whilst the car, whilst the tyre's still on the ground, that means that any spring that's in the spring, because when you take this off it will try and force down, force the, the hub down, the spring well, so if you do this it can't force it down, it means it's easier to take the bolt out. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is, is there's two 17s on the top, so you need one one that holds it and then there's a lock in that on top. This car's fitted with KW suspension. Now, I'm not sure if the standard suspension is, has the two bolts or not. I can't remember, to be honest with you. Um, but pretty straightforward either way. If it's got one bolt, you take the one bolt off. If it's got two bolts, you take the two bolts off. If your car has adjustable suspension, try not to touch the, the wee Allen key on the top. All right, don't interfere with that. Um, apart from that, straightforward. So I've cracked it with a spanner already, so just run the top one off. Listen the next one. The next one off. And that wee plate will come off. Now it needs to go back on in the same order it came off. Okay. Just remember what order it came off, so this bit, and then this bit, so that's the bit that's the, on this one it was making a clicking noise, so if you can see here it's, it's all cracked, it's, it's knackered. If you look at this I can actually move that about with my finger. Knackered. We've got the new one, we've got new male ones to go on it which are Pretty sure what's what BMW use, so it'll be good. Hopefully, they'll do the job. So, your installation is exactly opposite as removal, as Haynes would say. So you put it in, and then you put the bolt in, just put it in finger tight for now. And then you go up the stairs, <laughs> but your 213's back on. That's it. That's how you change a rear shock top mount on an E36 BMW. It's the exact same on an E46 and it's the exact same process if you're just changing a, a shock absorber. 
So that shock absorber you would take off the bump stop as well, which is literally 10 seconds of extra work. Pull it off the shock absorber and put it back onto the new one. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.